Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of New on Steam. Today we're playing a little bit more Rava 2 and the Phantom Library. We're here, the final story, so I'm guessing this is the final stage. We've only died twice in this game, once on a boss and one actually in the stage. So we will see what challenge this brings us. Okay, so we're actually in the library now. And we got foreboding music. Okay, so we got some upgrades here. Okay, so it's just straight up with the boss. Ooh, I like the design of this. So we gotta watch out for the letters. Do we shoot up? Kind of hit those right there, see what they do. Okay, so this guy actually has pretty interesting mechanics compared to lead to some of the other bosses. Oh, so we can actually hit him now. Okay, so... Uh, fire. That's... Oh! That was close. He's gonna hop up there. Okay. That one's a little tight. Let's see if we can do any damage to him now. I wonder what those orbs do. Okay, now we can get a few hits off. Fire seems to do the most rapid fire fire element. Okay, so the pattern never really changes. So I think this, uh, I'm not sure if all the elements do the same amount of damage, but by the amount of projectiles that this character actually shoots, fire is the way to go. Okay, so the pattern repeats. This one's a little trickier. Not too complicated thus far. Oh, okay. We're kind of uh, beating the, the Phantom. Or whatever this guy is. I wish there was a little backstory on this guy. Oh. Okay, now the challenge just increased. I am surprised the difficulty curve... Uh, jump this much <laughs> in this game, but a final boss should be fairly uh, challenging. Get some more hits in. Just like the other bosses, he's going to be HP sponge or damage sponge. Okay. Ooh, got no choice but to get hit there. We got to use all our elements. Get another few hits there. Ooh, we got him before uh, they closed the books on us. That's probably a guaranteed hit. Okay, we got another easy pattern. Kind of dodge those spikes. Yeah, I think this is appropriate difficulty for a, a last boss. Take him out quickly. Yeah, we haven't really gotten any lore since the beginning of the video, so I have no idea who this guy is. <laughs> Which is fine. Oh, we can destroy the spikes. Good to know. That definitely would increase the challenge if you couldn't destroy the spikes, but that's just another thing to blow up. Which is fine. Take out the spikes right there. Uh, it's just easier to jump over him, since switching to different elements takes so long. Okay, hopefully we're doing some progress on this guy. Is he going to have another phase? Oh! These spikes are coming out at a rapid rate now. Can I shoot that? Oh yeah, we gotta take him out fast before he closes the book on us. Got him. Okay. Oh, what is this? The last episode I was talking about phases. This is what I'm talking about. This is pretty cool. Visually, this is pretty neat. Okay, just keep dodging. 
and damaging them. We should be fine. This requires a little bit of focus. Okay, got hit. We got one hit left. Hopefully I don't die and have to start the fight over again. That'd be unfortunate. Oh, that was close. Hopefully this is the last phase too. Heart rate's actually going up. No. Yeah, uh, my heart rate's going up right now. Crap. We gotta start over. Very unfortunate. I kind of have an idea what to do now, so... I'll cut to when we get back to that phase again. Finally got hit by the book smash. Okay, so we're back on the final phase. I'm not gonna lie, this guy is actually moderately challenging. Like, we just get hit randomly. Uh, some of the easy mechanics aren't as easy. This is actually a pretty interesting difficulty spike. Comparatively to previous bosses. Got hit again. Okay, I'll cut back to this area. Okay, we're back to the final phase again. And this time I'm full health. So, we should be able to beat him this time. Unless he has another phase right after this. That's even harder. <laughs> This just requires a lot of focus. It's not really a difficult phase, but def um, definitely this is the hardest boss in the game so far, and uh, which should be. Okay, lost our power up. Some of these balls are a little tricky to dodge if you don't pre-plan it out because they start at different elevations, so they land at different times than the uh, lower balls, so you can kind of get trapped. Like right here. Just, oh, barely miss that right there. Making better dodging decisions this time, too. Got it. Let's see if there's another phase. No, that's it. Okay, what do we got here? The battle was fierce, but Rava and their companions bravely faced the giant monster. Nothing could stop the little summoner courageous enough to defeat even this mighty foe. To their surprise, the monster did not disappear. Instead, the dark energy vanished, revealing that in reality, it was controlling a smaller entity. Before Rava stood a small ghost moth named Mary. She was surprised to find that the evil spirits were defeated in the library saved by such a small but brave hero. Now that the library was free, Mary wanted to spread those stories around the world so that more people could enjoy them without the dangerous ghosts, of course. As a thank you, Rava was presented with an enchanted quill. You can write with this forever, she said. And maybe someday tell your own story. Rava woke up from what seemed like a long nap. Yawning, they noticed that they were asleep on top of this very special book. The Phantom Library. Aw, oh, don't tell me this was a dream the entire time. <laughs> If it was, we just got bamboozled. While reading about the legend that morning, Rava just fell asleep and dreamt about the whole adventure. No! All that work was just a lie. All was just a dream in the end. Or was it? Ah. Leave us with a, a mysterious ending. We got a quill. So it, it possibly it did happen. Imagine if Lord of the Rings was just a dream. That grand adventure. The end. Uh, I really enjoyed this game. It was a lot of fun. Got a lot of nostalgia vibes in it. Uh, I'm looking forward to a sequel. Nothing but praise for this game. Uh, really exceeded my expectations. So I'm just going to let the credits roll out. And thank you for joining me so much on this series if you have been following me along. And I will catch you on the next series. Thank you. Oh yeah, and if you like this episode, please uh, like and subscribe.